Welcome to another video. For today's video, let us answer the set of questions in the average round in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2015 Division Orals in Grade 9 and we are going to explain everything in details. On number 1, if f of x equals x squared minus x plus 1, find the sum of all numbers y that satisfy f of 2y equals 2. So to find the sum of all numbers y, let us have f of x equals x squared minus x plus 1. And the value of this expression is equal to 2. If we are going to substitute the value of x, which is f of 2y. So let us have f of 2y equals 2y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals to 2. So let us simplify. 2y squared, that is 4y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals 2. So let us move 2 on the other side of the equation. It will give us 4y squared minus 2y plus 1 minus 2 equals 0. So let us simplify. Let us have 4y squared minus 2y 1 minus 2, that is negative 1, equals 0. And since we are looking for the sum, the formula for sum, that is negative b over a, so the value of a, that is 4, the value of b, that is negative 2, and the value of c is negative 1. So let us have negative, multiplied by negative 2, over the value of a, that is 4. So negative times negative is positive, we are going to have 2 over 4, and 2 over 4, that is 1 half. So this will be the sum of all numbers y, and this will be our answer. On number 2, a man walks 1 kilometer east, then 1 kilometer northwest. How far is he from his starting point? So to answer this question, let us illustrate the given problem. So let us have north, east, south, and west. And in our given, if a man walks 1 kilometer east, if this is our starting point and walks 1 kilometer east, let us have 1 kilometer on this side. And then 1 kilometer northwest, so this is northwest. And then the question is, how far is C from his starting point? So we are looking for the measure of this side. So if we are going to represent this one as angle A, this one as angle B, and this is angle C, and side BC as side A, and this side as side B, and this one as side C. And if a man walks 1 kilometer east, then 1 kilometer northwest, it will form a 45 degrees angle. So let us have the given side A, that is 1 kilometer, side B is also 1 kilometer, and then angle C, which is 45 degrees, and we are looking for side C. So to find the measure of side C, let us use the formula for the law of cosine that is C square equals A square plus B square minus 2AB times cosine C. So let us substitute the given. Let us have 1 square plus 1 square minus 2 times 1 multiplied by 1 times cosine, and then the measure of angle C, that is 45 degrees. So let us simplify. 1 squared, that is 1. And then 2 times 1 times 1 is 2, then negative sign. And cosine 45, that is square root of 2 over 2. So let us have C squared equals 1 plus 1, that is 2. And let us cancel this one. We are going to have negative square root of 2. And let us square both sides. 
So the value of c, that is square root of 2 minus square root of 2 kilometers. This will be our answer. On number 3, four men working for four days can paint four cars. How many cars can six men working for six days paint? So how can we answer this kind of question? Always remember, the car is directly proportional to the number of men and to the number of days. So the first thing that we're going to do is to find the constant of variation, which is k. So let us have the formula, that is c stands for car, equals k, the variation, or constant of variation, multiplied by men times the number of days. So let us have four cars equals men, that is four, and then the number of days, that is also four, and then k. So let us have four equals four times four is 16, k. Divide both sides by 16. Let's cancel this one. So the constant is 4 over 16, or we can write as 1 fourth. And let us use this one to find the number of cars. So let us have C equals K M D. So let us have 1 fourth multiplied by men, that is 6, and then days, that is also 6. So let us have 1 multiplied by 6 is 6 times 6, that is 36. Divide by 4. So the number of cars is 36 divided by 4 is 9. So this will be our answer. On number 4, the longer base of a trapezoid measures 10 centimeters, and the line segment joining the midpoint of the diagonal measures 3 centimeters. So what is the length of the shorter base? So let us illustrate the given problem. So the measure of the longer base, that is 10, and the line segment joining the midpoint of the diagonal measures 3 centimeters. And we are looking for the length of the shorter base. So we are going to represent this one as x. So the formula that we're going to use is 3 equals the longer base, that is 10, minus the shorter base, that is x, divided by 2. So let us simplify. 3 multiplied by 2, that is 6, equals 10 minus x. So let us have x equals 10 minus 6. So the measure of the shorter base is 4 centimeters. And this will be our answer. On number 5, what is the least possible value for x squared plus 3x plus 2 if x squared minus 3x plus 2 less than or equal to 0? As you can see in equation number 2, there is a typographical error so instead of having x squared minus 3x plus 2, it is written in the given question as x squared minus 3x minus 2 less than or equal to 0. So I decided to have x squared minus 3x plus 2 to come up with a given answer. So to find the least possible value, let us have x squared minus 3x plus 2 less than or equal to 0. So let us factor this one. Let us have x and x. And what are the two numbers? If we multiply, we can get positive 2. And we, if we add, we can get negative 3. And that is negative 2 and negative 1, less than or equal to 0. So let us have x minus 2, less than or equal to 0. And x minus 1, less than or equal to 0. So let us have x less than or equal to 2. And x greater than or equal to 1. Now, since we are looking for the least possible value, let us have x equals to 1, and let us substitute this one to the given equation, that is x squared plus 3x 
plus 2 equals 0. That is 1 square plus 3 times 1 plus 2 equals 0. So 1 square is 1 plus 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2. So 1 plus 3 plus 2, that is 6. And this will be our answer. On number 6, the point D is the midpoint of side BC of equilateral triangle ABC and E is the midpoint of AD. How long is BE if a side of triangle ABC measures 8 centimeters? So to find the measure of BE, let us illustrate the given problem. Let us have A, B, and C. And D is the midpoint of BC. And E is the midpoint of AD. And we are looking for side BE. And the measure of each side is 8 centimeters. And the same time, since the given triangle is equilateral triangle, it will give us the idea that equilateral triangle is also equiangular triangle. So the measure of each angle is 60 degrees. So let us have this one as 60 degrees. And then this one is 30 degrees. So we are going to have 30-60 triangle. So opposite to 90 is side C. And opposite to 30 is A. And opposite to 60 is B. So let us find the measure of side A. So let us have C equals 2A. If C is 8, then the measure of A, that is 4. So the measure of this one is 4. And then, to find the value of B, or side B, we are going to have A square root of 3. Let us have 4 square root of 3. And the measure of side B is 4 square root of 3. Since E is the midpoint of AD, the measure of AE, that is 2 square root of 3, and this one is 2 square root of 3. And since D is the midpoint of BC, if DC is 4, this one's also 4. And let us use Pythagorean theorem to find the measure of this side. So let us have x square equals 2 square root of 3 square plus 4 square. So let us simplify. 2 raised to 2, that is 4. Let us cancel the radical sign, that is 3. Plus 4 square, that is 16. So let us simplify. 4 times 3, that is 12. Plus 16. 12 plus 16, that is 28. Let us square both sides. Let's have x equals what are the factors of 28? Which one of the factors is perfect square? And that is 4 times 7. And the square root of 4, that is 2. And then we have square root of 7 um, centimeters. This will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.